G'day Legends, I hope you're all amazing. On today's video, we're gonna take a quick look at the latest beta for the FM3 for firmware six. This crams so much stuff into one update. I think if FM3 users have been kind of enviously eyeing off Axe FX3 users, uh, you don't have to worry about that anymore because nearly everything that's been added to the Axe is in here now. And on top of stuff like new amp models, amp block modeling improvements, new multi-tap delay types, new drives, uh, you name it, there's significant CPU savings in here. For example, I'm gonna start with my live preset on here. I did a rundown of this preset a little while ago and it was running at about 65% on the CPU. Same stuff, it's at around 58 to 60% on the CPU. And it's, you know, my typical thing, if you didn't watch my latest video with the Axe FX3 and you wanna get deep into these kind of settings, go and check that one out because it's the same thing. But yeah, USA lead mid gain and then my usual greenback IR and some kind of sculpting stuff with the parametric and multiband. <laughs> And there, the new Aurora delay type. There's cross feedback in the multi tap delay block. This is instant god tier solo tone in here, this type. And I've actually been using it live on the FM9 instead of my usual multi tap settings. I like it that much, and I think you will like it too. We'll hear it with a cleaner tone in just a little bit. But yeah, I just leave it set up with the uh, kind of stock settings on here. I'm running it in parallel, so bypass mode is mute effects in bring the level down a little bit, set the mix to 100% when running it in parallel. And yeah, it just makes everything sound pretty amazing. <laughs> wondering that is a ragdoll song called heaven above it's linked in the video description along with my free cabinet irs if you want to grab it let's see if we can add not only a reverb but reverb and stereo pitch detune to this preset i've never been able to cram those into this preset before i'm gonna put the reverb first and i'm probably just going to go with good old london plate in my blocks library which again you can get for free let's just plug in plate number one and what are we at 73 percent on the cpu we're getting close let's chuck in a pitch block in here i'm going to again bring up some dual detune settings and we're at about 81 percent. i think that's pretty decent on there i mean i could lose the gate in this preset and free up some cpu but this is pretty sweet. Let's have a listen to it. This is gonna be super greasy. Make sure you're listening in stereo. <laughs> Not too shabby at all. I'm actually just gonna hit save on that one because I'm pretty stoked that I can have those in there. I would probably use scene ignore on the pitch block just because if I'm in stereo, I want it on there. It's giving me that big early 90s, no more tears thing. But if I'm gonna play mono, I probably don't want it on there. Summing it to mono is not gonna sound great. So that way I can just hit scene ignore and it's gonna stay off across all the scenes in there. So we'll hit save on that one. I'm gonna move across to a clean preset now and let you just hear some of the new drives. I've got my old Strat and the ODS-100 clean. I'm using one of my EV IRs in here. This one's on Exchange if you wanna grab it. I'm just gonna use the Aurora delay after the cab with a mix around 12% just for some ambience. Let's hear the griddle cake model in here based on a Crowther hot cake, one of my favorite real world pedals. <laughs> Thank you. 
th this drive uses so little CPU as well. It's a really fun one to stack as well in there. And with the multi-tap delay, Aurora delay, uh, you can see there's cross feedback and all sorts of stuff happening in here. Probably the easiest way to bring the overall feedback or kind of ambient wash down is go to the master section and just use the master feedback control on there. So let's do this. I'll bypass the drive. Let's hear it clean again. But then we will hear the clone model in here, which is called clone Chiron. I like it with the level all the way up and just a little bit of gain on there, treble to taste. But I think a lot of people are going to love this one, especially if you like your edge of breakup tones and then hitting them with a pedal to get your lead sound. <laughs> Timmons thing, there's the BB Pre AT in here. This one's pretty good with the game backed off a little bit, a little bit of extra level, and then just balance out the bass and the treble to suit your guitar. This strat's pretty bright, so I've just backed some treble off. <laughs> Those same drives with the new Brit Studio 20 amp model. I have done a little bit of deep tweaking in here. One thing with this firmware that's been overhauled is the speaker drive parameter. And I think this makes a really lovely difference for these kind of edge breakup style amps in here. So I think the default is two. I'll let you hear this at two, and then I'll let you hear it at four for kind of cleaner sounds or bluesy tones. I like bumping it up to four or five. For the heavier stuff, I actually kind of like bringing it back down to about one or something. So what I'll do is I'll hit four, but I won't hit enter. So you'll hear it at the stock settings and then with an increase setting. <laughs> drives in there, especially the Con. I'm actually just going to play you all out with the Recto 1 Red on here, because if you're a Recto fan, you're really going to like this firmware. I said that about the Axe FX3 equivalent on here. Basically, uh, again, in the speaker tab, I've just decreased the speaker drive a little bit. Speaker breakup on soft, I like with the Recto. Try it out, and I like increasing the speaker thump parameter on here, as well as the speaker compliance you know, budging it to about 60% or something. Like you don't have to do these things. You can just roll with it at the stock settings, but they're there. I'm curious and I kind of like them, which is why I roll with them. Same thing. I love this load box uh, LB2 UK. It's based on the fractal load box impedance curve with the rectos. It just kind of goes hard and is fun to play. So I'll play you all out with some absolutely filthy stuff with the recto. If you got any questions, let me know in the comment section below. You can come over to my discord and chat about this stuff in the digital modeling channel. You can get my IRs for free. You can check out some ragdoll music in the video description. You can support me on Patreon, all that sort of stuff. And I'll see you next time. I might do a longer video when there is a full release for this particular firmware, but yeah, it's sounding amazing. Oh, and there's songs and set lists in here as well, which I did not even mention at the start of the video. I've got a video about that with the Axe FX3 if you want to set 
uh, if you want to check that out and you want to set it up as well. So yeah, some recto. Have a great day. See you next time.